Joe Budden had something uh, to say about um, NBA Youngboy. You ready to tell the truth about NBA Youngboy? Uh, I'm not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? That nigga's trash. Hey, man, how you doing, man? I, how y'all doing out there, man? Boss Talk 101, man. Checking in, man. News you can use. The segment that I, I do when I feel a random to, man. I don't know if you guys... Let me know if you guys like what's going on with news you can use, man, if I need to keep it going, keep it coming. There's so many different aspects. Uh, Boss Talk 101 is coming at this whole, uh, the whole algorithm with. But listen, man, I was looking and I seen Joe Budden. Joe Budden had something uh, to say about um, NBA Youngboy. You ready to tell the truth about NBA Youngboy? Uh, I'm not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? That nigga's trash. And I was like, dang, man, like, what would what would spring this out? That he's no good, you know, pretty much that he's through, and, you know, that he, he had all kind of things to say about him, but, you know, guys, I know y'all be in the comments saying that I'm biased, but, bro, I don't understand how you guys can't see that this assignment that Joe Budden is on is definitely not for the agenda of the South. I know y'all be getting upset and saying I'm only for the South. I'm not. I'm only for being fair. That's all I'm saying. If you look at NBA Youngboy, NBA Youngboy hit the scene, man, like nobody else in this time period. Problems, yeah. Thinking how I'm gonna solve it, yeah. And the same thing you see in NBA Youngboy, and I'm gonna get to this in a minute, you seen the same thing in the Migos when they hit it. Hey! Raindrops, Trip. drop top, drop top, smoking no cooking the hot box. Cookies. And you see that the South is pretty much doing their thing when it comes down to the music. But in my eyes, and I know you guys can get in the comments, eat me alive if you want to when it comes down to it, but I remember when Joe Budden made the move on, on the Amigos. You say I'm left off bad and bullshit? Yeah. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bullshit? What'd you say? Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Nah! And he didn't even want to interview him. He flat walked off. The Migos longer, man. It's one of my favorite groups. I've been covering for so long. I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey, man, you guys are... And, and basically was done with the interview. Was this because of the music? Was this because of the individuals? Was it because of where they're located? This is where I'm at. I'm an older cat. And I'm going to be real with you. I've been seeing the agenda. We already know, man, Joe Budden's from Manhattan, New York, man. He not worried about nothing going on down under that Mason-Dixon line. So I don't understand how y'all can't see the plot. The plight is, you, you guys, you got love in the South. You got people that really love what you do. And I love East and the West Coast. I'm just fair about it. I love Big, Big Daddy Kane, Too Short, when you start dealing with the older rappers. The newer rappers, to be honest with you, I'm not as up on them like I should be, but I do know that they got some dope rappers out there. Uh, in each, I mean, you got the baby when you look at North Carolina, you got a uh, little baby in Atlanta, you got some new guys, but most of the time when you start getting that 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 push, you got you got your Drakes. He even had something to say about Drake. Joe Button had never been one to shot back on words when it come down to different artists. It's gonna be a lot of Drake. And I, for one, am really happy that he's going away. But there's a plight. There's something there. If you look at the ones he pick out, that's all I'm saying. You cannot tell me that NBA Youngboy had not been ripping across that algorithm. And I think when, when he speaks out, he speaks out with an agenda. And, and, and I don't know what to tell him because the music is driven from the, the people who love it. So you know and I know what's going on. All I'm saying is make sure you guys understand the, the, the assignment. You got to understand this. So I looked at it and man, I listened to what he said. He was like, he don't feel like NBA young boys doing what he used to do or what he ever did. I don't think he ever was one to step up and say NBA young boy smashing. No, he come back and say NBA young boy is pretty much done. So what I'm saying is, man, you young people, man, I don't see how you could think a 43 year old man can tell you about what's going on in a 24 year old man's world. I don't try to do that. I just told you I watched the younger rappers and the people that I deal with 
and I see the come up, but at the end of the day, I know my lane. So at the end of the day, I, I watched the numbers. I looked at the numbers that he even said, that, that Joe Budden said, and it was like, man, the numbers is off according to that scale, but that's not the scale we go by anymore. When you look at his YouTube algorithm move or all the stuff, I know he said the YouTube was a place where, hey, man, you know, he felt like there was a hidden agenda on that. But the people, the fans are the one to speak. So is Joe Budden better than NBA young boys? Is he more impactful? Come on, guys. Even in this, this podcast world, he's doing a great job. Joe Budden is a beast. Take nothing from him. But NBA young boy and them young kids is something different. I don't care if you stick him in a house in Utah. I don't care if you put him on house arrest. I don't care if you put him back in the South, put him back in BR where he's from. He's still a, a force to be reckoned with. You and I both know that. That's why the problem is when you looked at the Migos and you walked off on them. The Migos longer, man, is one of my favorite groups. I've been covering for so long. I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey, man, you guys are. Uh, and you didn't want to deal with them. I already knew what the deal was. But at the end of the day, I understand, you know, I can, I kind of, I, I rock with academics. DJ Academics, he seems to be one that's fair. But when it comes to like Joe Budden, I don't know if he's fair. So at the end of the day, people get in the comments and tell me if you think that, that Joe Budden is one to speak on who NBA Youngboy is and what y y NBA Youngboy does. Cause I think there's, I think it's a hidden agenda. Like I said, I just don't feel like it's something that uh, we can value opinion on. Um, the numbers don't lie. Um, NBA young boy, to be honest with you, one of the dopest dudes that in this time, in this era, is going down through there. When you look at um, Drake, the same thing during his their eras. Lil Wayne, the same thing. But I, like I said. It's a lot of it's a lot of skeletons in these boys' closets when it comes down to being honest with who they are and what their agenda really is. Do they really care about the people that they're speaking on? They don't care about their music. So I just don't feel like this is a genuine assessment of what we got going on with NBA Youngboy. So and and Joe Button, like I said, dope dude. Uh, when it comes to podcasting, when it comes down to laying down the line on what's going down with, you know, how he comes across. The nigga got a radio voice, you know what I'm saying? But, no, nah, NBA young boy ain't going. And, and, and I got I to gotta say, and like I said, to be a 43-year-old dude speaking on a 24-year-old dude's movement in a way to where you telling us how we're over-assessing it. No, we're not over-assessing it. We rock with him. Uh, he ain't going. So, at the end of the day, I'm rocking with him, and I, I really want, wanted to come back and just say a little something about it. I don't want, I ain't gonna just beat on a dead horse, but man, if, if you guys see and understand where I'm coming from, let me know. Like I said, this is a dope segment that I do just basically to point at different things going on in the algorithm, as I always do. But news you can use, like this is the poppinest thing that I've seen. And it made me get up and say, man, let me get up and do me a news you can use segment about NBA young boy, Joe Budden. Come on, man. I see right through it. Joe Budden, you did the same thing to the Amigos, bro. And you know you did. And DJ Academics could, what, bamboozie? I remember this. So I know you, I know you ain't look, you, you East Coast boys got to respect what we got going down here just like we respect what you got going up there. Uh, Fat Joe does a better job at it. He's a more, you know, he tries to, you know, give us a, a, a voice. Sometimes he might say something a little misconstrued as well. Um, Nori, uh, Gillian Wallow. Um, I'm watching all of this that's going on with, with what's going on in the South. And I'm gonna always voice my opinion and let you guys know our ears is different. Our lingo is different. The way we talk, the way we walk, the way we wear, wear our clothes, everything's different. It always has been. It's getting a little bit better because of the internet, but you can't never change the language. You guys still can't understand what T.I. is saying. You can't understand what a lot of these guys are saying. Probably don't know what I'm saying now, but then you have to assess it. You start assessing the music. It's a different level. It's a different thing. And uh, I'm gonna always point out the obvious, man. You guys are dope. Everybody's dope in there who they are, but don't come for us because when you come for NBA young boy, you come for all these young kids, man. You know already what he did. 
give him his props. Show him love, man, at the end of the day because that love will come back to you. But if you show hate, it has coming back to you too, man. I just wanted to talk about it, man. That's all, man. News you can use, man. I think... I don't think I had nothing else. I really want to rock with it like that, man. Hey, news you can use, man.